Hey, Evergreen, it's Pastor Don, and I just wanted to get this video out there because we just wanted to give you some information because as school is ramping back up, well, normally that's when church starts to ramp back up. And we have seen increased numbers at church, and that's great. Believe me, I am so glad to see you. But as we're doing that, I just wanted to get some information out there about how we're doing worship currently. And by the way, there are a lot of new people who are looking for churches right now. And so if you see new people and you're part of Evergreen, make sure that you're welcoming them at a distance um, and make sure that, um, you know, maybe you're a new person. We just want you to know you're welcome here. Um, we're going to do the very best we can to accommodate everybody. So if you're new or even if you're not, I mean, on Sunday mornings, we're going to have the doors propped open so you don't have to touch them. And we understand that um, we're trying to keep social distance. We're trying to um, have hand sanitizer available. We're encouraging face masks. I mean, whatever we need to do to keep people safe, that's what we're going to do. By the way, I'm going to say it. If you're sick, please stay home. If you just even think you're sick, please stay home because we're still doing online worship. We're going to continue doing that as far into the future as I can see. So um, don't think like you're not going to be able to worship if you're not here because you will be able to do that no matter what. So one of the things to know is, is that we were originally asking people to RSVP if they were coming to the morning service. We kind of put an end to that, um, partly because we just don't feel like we need to do that right now. But here's the thing, if the large room gets filled up, and it might, we have done something else. We have um, put video, a video feed into the living room so that you can actually sit in the living room and participate in worship. So you'll be able to see, you'll be able to hear, all of those kind of things. And so we're working on making this as, um, as user-friendly as possible. By the way, if you have kids and you're thinking, well, there's no Sunday school, I don't really know if I wanna bring my kids to worship. One of the things that I always tell people, and I think it's absolutely true, is your kids are bothering you more than they're bothering the people who are behind you. I promise that that's true. And so whatever we need to do to accommodate children in worship, we're going to do. And so I don't want you to feel like you can't come because your kids might bother somebody else. Uh, it's okay. I think it's a good thing for us as a community to figure out how to incorporate our kids into worship and make them feel comfortable and everybody else too. We'll get to a point sooner or later where we're back to Sunday school, we're back to all those things, but right now we can't do that. Also, you don't have to come in the morning. You can come in the evening. We're still having our evening service. Right now it's at seven, but as the sun shifts and as the shadows come earlier and it's not so hot, we will begin to move that service earlier. Uh, I don't know, it might be a couple of weeks, but probably we'll move it to six and we might even move it to five as things progress. So keep your eyes open for that because that would be a great family friendly option as well. So we want you here, um, but I also will say this, if you feel vulnerable, if there's a reason for you not to be here, please don't feel any pressure or obligation to be here live in person in worship because we don't want you to get sick. Um, we want you to take care of yourself and we love you. And so if there's anything that we can do to make this easier for you, if you have questions, if you have concerns, please call me, call Sarah, call Raymond. Call somebody in the office and we'll try to answer your question. You may have a question or a concern that we haven't even thought of. So um, I would absolutely encourage that as well. So I hope that we'll see you if that's something that you want to make happen. If not, know we love you at a distance and we're going to do whatever we can to make this happen. Have a great week. We'll see you soon.